Hi, this is Christy, and I'm going to walk you through how to swap your original crypto coin or OCC tokens to Tusk using the Trust Wallet. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Trust Wallet and make sure that um, you're accessing the wallet within Trust that holds your OCC. You'll see mine here, and you'll see that I've got 10 OCC to demonstrate the swap process. The next thing um, you'll see is that we also have some Ethereum in order to pay gas on the Ethereum network for the miners to move your OCC from your wallet to the Omega address so that we can register the swap. This uh, fee is for gas only and it doesn't benefit Tusk or OCC in any way. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the button at the bottom of the screen that says DAPS. And you'll see at the top of the screen you can enter in a URL for a swap. That would be swap.tusk.network. If you can go ahead and navigate to that page, you'll see that the initial introduction to the swap is shown there. Um, you'll also see that in addition to the video, um, there is a link to a detailed tutorial that contains screenshots of the swap process. You'll start by registering a new Tusk account if you don't already have one. Go ahead and click the button and you will come to a page that is called Tusk Account Registration. If you click Get New Keys and Key Phrase, it will generate private public keys and a key phrase for a new Tusk account. You're going to want to make sure that you save those someplace securely because we are not logging those um, and we cannot retrieve them for you. If you lose access to this, you could lose access to your funds. Once you've got all of that information saved someplace safe, you can take your public key, which you see starts with T-U-S-C, copy it, and paste it into the area below so you can register the name of your new Tusk account. Then you'll enter your name that you desire for your Tusk account. There's a few parameters listed below it, including how long it has to be and what kind of characters you can use. And once you're done with that, you go ahead and click register new Tusk account. At that point, a bit of code will be generated and display below the form. You're going to go ahead and copy that information and save it with the rest of your keys and secure information. And when you get that code, you'll know that your Tusk account has been successfully generated. We're going to go ahead and click next. And we'll be able to connect to our wallet with the DAP and access our OCC and send it to the swap. Click Select Account, and you'll see that account that we had loaded up to start with when I opened the wallet. At that point, it's going to show you that there's an OCC balance of 10 OCC. Uh, one important thing to note is that you must send the entire balance in the swap process. That's the way the contract has been written. You can't select a different amount. So you need to make sure that the amount that's in your wallet is the amount that you want to send. Go ahead, approve full OCC balance swap. After you enter your Tusk account name. Now I've already got a Tusk account name we set up for testing, so I'm going to go ahead and enter it here. And I'm going to make sure that I've got it all spelled correctly. You'll see that I made an error and capitalized something, so that is not going to work. Once it's entered correctly, go ahead and approve full OCC balance swap. It's going to ask you if you're sure the Tusk account name is correct. Take one last look and make sure you spelled it properly. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll have the opportunity to approve the transaction. You'll see that it's already defaulted to certain gas settings. Um, if it's a little more than you wanted to spend, you can play around with it a little bit. Go ahead and click the button, you'll see that it's got a gas price of a little over six. That's not necessarily necessary. If you check ETH gas station, um, you'll be able to see what a safe low gas is if you're willing to wait a little bit. You'll see that it's um, put a gas limit of a little over 59,000. In our experience, that is sufficient to complete the swap, so you should be good to go. Go ahead and click Save, and you'll see that your max total fee is going to be about two cents, and hit Approve.
at this point, you'll be given a chance to approve again. Again, reset your gas, recheck that gas limit. A 780,000 is not necessary. At this point, if you go ahead and put 100,000 in, that should be good to go. Just in case you're a little low on gas, click save. You'll see your max fee is about three cents. Approve again. At this point, your OCC transaction has been submitted and is being sent to the Ethereum network. If you go ahead and click the yellow text here that says transaction results, it will open an ether scan and you'll be able to see your process of your transaction. That transaction will be pending um, for a few minutes, possibly longer, depending on how busy the network is and how much gas you used to send or how much gas price you set um, in order to send your transaction. Once your transaction is completed, you'll see here that um, it took about two cents worth of Ethereum to complete the swap transaction. If you go ahead and click the back button, we can navigate navigate back to the swap page and we'll have an opportunity to check our Tusk account balance. Um, you'll have to wait at least 15 minutes after your Ethereum transaction has completed before you can take that step. After about 15 minutes, uh, might take a little bit longer, but it is unlikely to go faster, you can go ahead and check the balance in your Tusk account to make sure that the swap has been successfully completed. Um, so you'll see that in the account that I was using for the swap, Tusk swap test, uh, I already had a balance of five Tusk from testing the swap in a previous round. And I'm gonna go ahead and check the account balance again and make sure that I have received the additional five Tusk from this round. And there you'll see that I have a new balance of 10 Tusk. The other fun thing you can do if you're curious about how much OCC has been swapped so far is click the next button and it is gonna show our tracker. And that uh, swap tracker stat key will show you the OCC left to swap, the number of OCC swapped so far, and the number of Tusk swapped in in return. Um, and you'll see that 22 <laughs> OCC have been swapped so far in our testing of the mainnet and 11 Tusk have been returned. Thanks, I hope that tutorial was helpful. Good luck and happy swapping.